here's an overall view of the Table Tracker 3 system. You'll notice that it's based on the Apple iPad type of uh, display. On version 2, we used to use a standalone PC. But on this system, uh, the software can support actually up to five separate iPads so that uh, employees are able to see the system working from various positions or even be walking around on the premises. The components that you require for a, a Table Tracker 3 are as follows. Of course, you're going to need an iPad, and we have an iPad stand that you can purchase as an optional extra. Of course, as well as the iPad stand, you're going to need an Apple Airport. This is for the wireless section so that the iPads can communicate with the LRS system. And you're also going to need an LRS gateway device. Now, this gateway device must connect to the internet via a hard wire. Uh, wireless connection just isn't good enough for this device. So, hard wire connection for all version 3 table trackers. This is a table tracker, and this is the way that they stack up and they charge. You can see that this one is on charge from the red light. They simply pull off and you hand these to your customer. But more on that later. They can power and run for quite a substantial number of hours once they've been charged on this dock. You'll need one or more uh, starting units for the table trackers. These normally go uh, near the tail. So that before you hand out the tracker, you start the tracker on that device. And when the uh, table tracker has been collected from the customer, the runner can either walk back and swipe the table tracker over the clearing unit there. Or they can use this portable clearing unit, uh, which can be held in the pocket. Table tracker can be installed with a number of different options from basic systems to the pro version. On the basic system, uh, you're able to use these docks on the table and the customer can place a table tracker simply on the dock while they're waiting for their food. The system also requires one or more of these Zigbee repeaters. It's all dependent on how many table trackers you need. So, you know, after, for every 30 table trackers, you're going to need one of these. They don't extend the range. What they do is allow more than 30 devices to be used at once in any situation. For Table Tracker Pro, it's possible to use these Table Tracker RFID tags underneath a table. And it's actually possible to have absolutely nothing on the surface of the table if the underneath of the table is completely covered with these uh, RFID tags. That makes a very clean installation and one that doesn't detract from uh, table surface usage or uh, the aesthetics of the premises. Obviously, fitting hundreds and hundreds of these into any site costs more money. So we developed some other ideas too. Now these are plaques that can be placed on the top of a table. And as you can see, they are extremely thin. In fact, they're just a fraction of millimeters. Today, we can use them this thin. And so when we put these on the surface of a table, you only actually need one or two tags as opposed to, in some circumstances, many, many tens uh, for a table. That reduces the cost dramatically and you're able to use the plaque uh, for advertising as well, which uh, you know is a dual use, really. Uh, the fact is that these plaques are extremely robust. They don't come off the table. They don't lift. And we've had these on test for some time. Of course, for outdoor tables, there's more involved. So we have these particular type of outdoor waterproof mats that work in the same way. They can be left outdoors all the time if you want, and they work absolutely perfectly outdoors. What I want to do is carry out a quick demonstration 
showing you how Table Tracker works and how easy it is to use. Think of these two things here as tables. Don't think of them as something you put on a table. No, these are designed to be demonstration tables, if you will. The operation of the system is very similar, no matter whether you uh, use uh, the basic system, the Table Tracker, or indeed the Pro version. So let's imagine a customer has just come along. We take the Table Tracker and we start it off by putting it on here. You can see that it's appeared on the screen and it's counting time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a customer. I'm going to walk off and sit at this table. And what you'll find in a few moments is the table number will actually appear up here. Table number seven. So let's assume another customer comes along and we hand out the table tracker after starting on this unit. Customer walks away sits at a table, and the table will also appear after a, a short while up on the screen. As you can see, both customers are there. Well, let's imagine the waitress has now come out to serve the food. This one was first. She's got the food for this client. She collects the table tracker and serves the food. Now she can clear on the clearing unit or she can clear with the portable clearing unit. When she does that, you'll see it's removed from the screen and the table tracker is placed where it should be. Now what happens with an order that sits here is that this will gradually change colors. You'll set a uh, a time target of maybe five minutes and at five minutes this might turn yellow and then at six minutes it might turn red but you that's all adjustable and settable by us really or yourself very easy to uh, change to so you know the system's very flexible but what if the customer got up and actually decided that the table they were sitting at was dirty well let's take this customer and move them to another table and what you'll find in a short while, is this table number will change. They take a bit longer in this uh, environment that we're working on for demonstration, but in reality, it's quicker than that. As you can see, they've now moved to table seven. So the staff know where the customer is, no matter what. Now this system set up that four minutes, this changes to yellow, because the customer is, is getting near the preset time that you want to supply the food by. And in just a moment, we're going to see that turn to red. It's all viewable from any iPad across the site, and you can have up to five iPads. And as you can see, at five minutes, this one turned to red. So this customer is now overdue uh, on food delivery, which is something you want to target you know, and get that food time down. We've seen food delivery uh, times improve from as much as 14 minutes down to less than four minutes. So it's a massive improvement. And of course, the faster you, uh, you deliver the food, the faster the table turns, and you can fit more people through your restaurant, your fast casual restaurant, that is, which will increase profitability. So let's go and serve the food to this client just add the food. We swipe it with a portable cleaning unit. Very simple. It's removed from the screen. And the track is placed back on the charger. You can notice along the bottom of the screen, for instant notification, uh, you can see how many orders have been delivered today, the average delivery time today, the target delivery time, and the uh, percentage orders go on that today. So 60% of these orders... Uh, were delivered on time. Now it's also possible to produce reports in real time just simply by clicking the menu system, clicking on reporting and you can see while this report here isn't very extensive, it's just a demonstration, we can choose past week, 
or today or yesterday. Well, there was none yesterday. It's just a demo. But it's a quick way of being able to see uh, a reasonable amount of information so that you can act accordingly and help improve the delivery of food to customers. The table tracker system has a number of advantages over every other system that you will ever see. One of them is when you find that lots of table trackers are out on the floor, that most of the other systems, in fact almost all of the other systems we know of, actually have problems. They start to lose trackers or lose the devices that belong to those systems. And secondly, if you've got multi-floors, uh, that's another major problem for competitors because with competitors that use these other types of systems, uh, you will find that those systems are particularly bad when being used on more than one floor. Our system can be used on multiple floors uh, without any real problems at all. All data is uploaded to the internet to secure servers and you're able to go along and uh, use a thing called LRS Connect so that you can uh, generate reports of all sorts of things that have been collected by the system. Now the thing about it is you can do consolidation of multiple sites from LRS Connect and a host of other things. So the metrics of uh, the system uh, for your company uh, are all easily viewable. It's also possible to download uh, all of the information in a number of formats. So you can go and do your own work, say, for example, in uh, Excel or some other package uh, and generate your own reports. You don't have to use what we provide. However, our reports are extensive. Table Tracker, believe it or not, is available from just £2,000 and upwards, depending on which option you choose, whether it's basic, whether you use the plaques for the tables, or whether you use uh, tags under the entire table. Obviously, each one carries a different cost and a different installation time and things like that. But the fact is that we have a solution for you no matter what, over multiple sites, and with as many trackers as you need. If you wanted 150 trackers out there, our system will support it with every single one out there. Whereas the beacon type of systems that you will see, such as views, for example, have problems. You'll also notice throughout this demonstration that not once have I talked about changing batteries uh, on beacons under tables and things like that. And that can be a problem because any system that uses batteries under tables, well, you know what happens when the batteries run out. Another option that can be used, uh, that, that is used in a lot of fast casual restaurants, is customers can come in and place an order uh, to go. So, well, you couldn't use Table Tracker for that, could you? Well, of course you could. What we have is we have a, a special starter unit that's different than this one. It says, actually says to go on it. And what you do is you take the table tracker, you swipe it over the to-go, and it will appear on the screen so you can't forget this customer. And when it's time to get the customer back, there's no shouting. You could actually use a paging facility that's actually part of table tracker. So you can recall the customer actually with the table tracker unit. And that way uh, it, it simplifies the to-go orders that you might encounter in your business. That concludes this quick demonstration of Table Tracker. And if you've got any more inquiries, or would you like a demonstration, or would you like to try the product, no problem. Just give us a call on 01782 53 7000. We'll be more than happy to help.